So Europa League action today, both legs coming in today's episode. Been a while since I've said this. Roll the titles. Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the Arsenal save on FM18 and as it said in the, in the intro, we have got Europa League action for you today and we have the Azerbaijan team, Karaba. I think I've said that right, I have Google translated it um, and they say Karaba. So that's what I'm going with. If I've pronounced it wrong, I do apologise. So we have had a couple of games in between the two episodes. Last time we met was the, you know, surprising 2-0 loss away at Southampton. Um, but we then bounce back with a great 4-0 win against Watford. Great win from them. Theo Walcott with a brace, Moussa Dembele and Danny Welbeck all before half-time. So they've scored all the goals within the first half and then the second half was pretty comfortable going from there. And then we followed that up with the North London derby, but it was a pretty boring affair. It's a, It was 0-0. Um, and as you can see, the ratings on both sides were absolutely atrocious. And here's the match stats. So 13 shots to our, well to their 12, four on target for each. Very, very boring game. It looks a little bit more exciting than it was, but in actual fact, it wasn't. It was awful. So those two games aside, keeps us in first place. We are 18 points clear of United in second place. We have all played the same amount of games now. 10 games to go in the league. We shouldn't need too many more points if... Uh, form keeps going as it is to secure that title in the first season but we're not worried about the Premier League just yet today we are going all out for Europa League glory and this will be the team that plays the first leg at Caraba so it's gonna we're going a pretty strong side in this first leg because I want it over and done with in the second leg so I can rest a few players. Timo Horn is going to start in goal for us. Kalasniak, Laporte, Mustafi and Bellerin are the back four. We've got Xhaka and Storaro in the middle of midfield. We've got Nelson on the left. He's come in. I'm um, going to give him a little bit of game time. Udsil behind Lacazette up top. And then we've got Berardi on the right-hand side. On the bench, Koscielny, Monreal, Ramsey, Wilshere, Welbeck, Theo and Moussa Dembele. Let's go and get some away goals. So they are starting a 4-3-3, so they've got a defensive midfielder in there, two central midfielders, three up top as well. Uh, I literally know nobody in their team, not even on the subs bench, nobody at all. So my Azerbaijanian football knowledge is very, very poor, to say the least. We're going to go to this team talk, we're going to be really uh, passionate, and let's a team such as ours should be winning this, no problem whatsoever. We are a fantastic team footballing side and we should be dominating this game in the into the tunnel uh Petacek's being left out yeah we've got things we've got our sights set firmly on bigger things for Petacek, so he's just going to take uh, take one out here complacency in the squad got no concerns that we're going to be going out there and do a professional job on this team it is not a packed out stadium no nowhere near full and uh, they kick off we get this first round knockout stage underway Highlight, Berardi whipping that ball in, into Xhaka, into Utsil, and that is 1-0 to Arsenal. Five minutes gone, or just before five minutes gone on the clock, and it's 1-0 to the Arsenal. Way goal already, Berardi whipping that ball in, Xhaka gets a knock on, and Utsil's there in the back post, calmly slots it home, 1-0 to us. And it's another highlight straight after. Ooh, tried to find Bellowing down that right-hand side. Iluruzi on the uh, on the attack, into Unlove. Unlove now, back to Peters. Peters, they're playing it really patiently here. Elouzi into Unlove, and he's free. Quintana, and Quintana's hit the bar, and Bellerin gets that ball clear, and it's uh, still 1-0 to the Arsenal. Just going to say it, there's some very unpronounceable names in their squad. Have you seen it? Look at, I mean, him, not a chance. Nowhere near. I'm going to call him Canny. That's it, done. Um, coming into half an hour gone now. Um, nothing really happened since that kind of opening little spat between um, Utsil scoring and I think it was Peters or Enrique hitting the bar. Um, coming into the final two or three minutes. Oh, Berardi's hit. Had a, had a free kick 
go sailing over the bar. We've dominated this game. Nine shots, three on target, 57% possession to their three shots and zero on target. We're... Uh, we are, we are. We're commanding here. We're, we're controlling it really, really well. Um, that, that is half-time. Until scoring the goal. Xhaka with an assist from a Berardi free kick. Um, and we're playing really well. The stats showing that we're, we are. We are controlling this game. Uh, I'm going to calmly say you've played well, but there is room for improvement going forward. Um, none of them really like that. Thanks a bunch, lads. Um, passionately say there's a lot more to come from you. You've got you've got what it takes. Bellerin and Mustafi still looking switched off as is Otsil. Uh, let's start this second half of the first leg. Yeah, Klesniak now on this left hand side into Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson into Otsil. Just going to take his time and just going to find that ball out to out to Bellerin. Bellerin now is going to take the ball in into Berardi. Loves a, loves us driving forward and he scores a goal. I think he got a deflection. Off the defender, I was going to say, Bradley loves to dart inside and uh, take it on his left foot. Uh, I think it did get a nick. Let's see this in 3D. So Bellerin picks up this ball um, from Odsil. He just played it really comfortably out there, really, to be fair. Berardi now picks up this ball and he drives forward. And does it get a nick? Yeah, I think it does. I think it was going towards the near post here. And it sent the keeper the wrong way. 2-0 to Arsenal. Two away goals. We are looking very, very comfortable here. Another highlight. After about five minutes gone in the uh, in the second half, Bellerin now. Driving inside into Utsil. Going to take his time again. He seems to have a lot of time on the ball, even though he's being closed down. Lacazette into Reese Nelson. Oh, what a hit by Reese Nelson. Lacazette laying the ball off to the youngster, and the youngster just swung for the fences. What a hit that was. Utsil now into Bellerin. Let's see this in 3D. Xhaka into Utsil. Lacazette just lays the ball off to Reese Nelson here. He gets the ball out of his feet. And what a hit that is. Off in off the post. Keeper had can he had absolutely no chance in goal. And it's 3-0 to the Arsenal. Two substitutes, Wilshire and Dembele are coming on. 20 minutes to go. Hopefully they can nick a few more goals. Any other surprise? Any other surprises in the Europa League? Villarreal are winning. Celtic are losing to Feyenoord. Spartak are beating Cole 2-0. Bellerin, four minutes to go now in this game. Storaro is picking this ball up and uh, he's got acres of space around him. No one's really closing him down. Xhaka over to Berardi. Berardi's always got that ball out to uh, Bellerin on the overlap. Into Berardi again and back out to Storaro. Is he going to come left? Yeah, it comes out to Reese Nelson on this left-hand side. Going to whip the ball in. Yes, he does. Jack Wilshere, what a save that was by Canny. And he makes another save really up close and personal with Berardi. Keeps it at 3-0. But that is it. Time has whittled away. Thir last 30 seconds in the game now. And it looks like we're going to go back to the Emirates with a 3-0 win. And it really secures our our kind of progression into this, in this Europa League competition. Don't really see um don't really see Calabar coming back into it. And there we go, full time. Whistle has gone. And we were pretty dominant to be fair. 17 shots, seven on target, 60% possession. And uh, yeah, absolutely dominant performance there by Arsenal. Coming up next, second leg. It'll probably be a highly rotated side. Let's see what happens in between games. And uh, I'll see you when we get back to the Emirates in a few minutes' time. As you can see, we do have a highly rotated side here. For this second leg against Caraba. Uh, we have got Horning goal. We've got Monreal, Belic, Koscielny and Bellerin as the back line. We've got Dehoud and Mulshu in the middle. Cliver on the left. It won't be on the right. Casola behind Dembele. Basically because they need a little bit of game time. We're out of the FA Cup. And when we can play them in other games, I will play people like that in other games. So let's submit the team and let's go straight into it. So even more defensive for Caraba. Uh, they've gone for a 3-5-2 with wing backs. So a bit like uh, a bit like Watford, how Watford are playing in this, this the in this year's game. So yeah, 3-5-2, a little bit more defensive for them. And I'm just gonna calmly say, uh, go out there and carry out where we left off from the last match. We played really good football. I know it's another set of players, but we're playing for Arsenal at the end of the day. Let's go, let's go straight into it. 3-0. Away, three away goals, 3-0 leading score so far in aggregate for the Arsenal. I really, really don't see them causing us many issues going forward. Nice beating Lazio 4-1 in the first leg. Sporting beating Freiburg 3-1. Uh, we beat uh, Carabag 3-1. Nothing, let's say 20 minutes gone, nothing's happened here. Um, Marseille are beating Ghent 3-0. Lyon are beating Everton 1-0. Any others? Um, Sociedad are beating Braga 4-0. Benfica are beating Pieco 2-0. Uh, 
So all in all, it seems to be going for the stronger sides. Seems to be going with the bookies there, to be fair. Seems going with the favourites. So half-time, I've rambled on for literally 45 minutes of in-game action and nothing has happened. No highlights to show you. And the team is playing pretty poorly, to be fair. But we go again. Second half, let's go into the team talk. Uh, get out there and... What did I say? <laughs> Anything needs to be said out there. Go out there and you know what you need to do. Right, okay. So let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Uh, calmly say, there's a lot more to come from you. I know you've got what it takes. So we are going to change the tactics ever so slightly. We're going to go slightly higher. We're going to have a slightly higher tempo. Be expressive. Run up the defence. And yeah, that's all I'm going to do so far. I'm just going to trial out some things. Just going just gonna to see if it works for the final 45 minutes here. Uh, I know a lot of players will have to come off because they are coming back from injury or they've not played for very long. Um, so we are going to have to make a few changes in the second half. Here we go. Cozola is going to whip that ball in. Try to find Belek at the back post. Iwobi's going to pick this ball up. Is he going to go back to Cozola? Yes, he is. He's going to get the ball back in again. Belek's there again, but Wilshire picks that ball up. What a hit there by Jack Wilshire. Cannons off the crossbar and they get it clear. Yeah, some of the boys are starting to flag now. So let's see if we can get these people off. So Reese Nelson's going to come on the right. Gazzola's going to come off for Ramsey. And who else needs a little bit of time off? Uh, Wilshere's going to come off and we're going to bring Storaro on as well. Three changes made. Generally was what I was going to do. Get some legs. Get some game time in some legs that haven't played for a while. Uh, as he's off. He's going to whip this ball in. Yes, he is. Trying to find Unlove at the front post. But Timo Horn is there just to collect pretty comfortably, to be fair. Bellerin gets the ball now on this right-hand side from Timo Horn. He charges forward. No one really um, closing him down. Ramsey out to Bellerin. He's made this really all himself. Nelson picks up that ball into Aaron Ramsey. Ramsey back to Nelson. Can I get it in? Yes, he can. Moussa Dembele is there near post. What a ball that was. What a whip from Reese Nelson. And uh, Moussa Dembele just gets ahead of his defender. Here we go. Bellerin starts it really with that driving run forward. Ramsey picks out the youngster, Reese Nelson. Lovely little flick there from uh, Aaron. And Nelson, what a whip that is. And Dembele just gets ahead of his striker. Gets ahead of his striker. Gets ahead of his defender and gets the ball into the back of net. It's 4-0 on aggregate, 1-0 on the night. And the uh, the boys have pretty much sewn this up. 15 minutes to go now. Ramsey's got the ball again. Storaro on the edge of the box. Is he going to take a hit? No, he goes out to Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson takes his man on. Going to get the ball in? No, he goes back to Bellerin. Into Dembele, into Clivert. 2-0 to the Arsenal. 5-0 on aggregate. Justin Clivert comes in for, to the squad and gets, uh, gets himself a goal. Dembele doing really well, flicking that ball on. Reese Nelson again. Involved after he's come off on the bench, gets round the uh, gets round the edge, goes back to Bellerin, whips the ball in. Dembele flicks the ball on. Clivert's there, smashes the ball into the back of the net. Two 0 to the Arsenal, five nil on aggregate. They start with a goal kick here. Kind of ten minutes left of the game. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's got a Q as start of the name. Azizov though, one on one with Horn, and what a save that was! Great ball from Koyev. Um, and uh, sets Azizov through, and Horn pushes around for a corner. Ibrahimov trying to get the ball in, but Belik does a great uh, defensive header there. I think he was fouled in the meantime, and that's going to be a free kick to Arsenal. This will be the last action of the half. Yes, it is. 2-0 on the night, 5-0 on aggregate, and a very comfortable win there from a reserve team, really, for us, to be fair. Passionately say, very pleased with the performance. Well done, lads. Got some games, got some game time in your legs. And now we're also, when is the draw, actually, to be fair? We've got 445,000 for it. We're through. Um, we win the first round knockout. I'm going to send my assistant to that. Uh, oh, Second round, uh, second round draw is uh, is out now, well, out tomorrow. So we're going to do that today as well. Little uh, little extra for you. Let's see who we get in the second knockout stage here. Are there team? Are there definitely teams that I want to um, I want to avoid. Milan, Nice are being two of them. Um, so you've got Milan there. You've got Feyenoord, Nice, PSV, Roma, uh, Villarreal, Lyon, and Marseille. Sporting, Benfica, some very, very strong teams there. Let's see who we get. Spartak at home to Krasnodar. Uh, Lyon versus Marseille, all French tie in the second knockout round. We've got PSV versus Zenit. Olympiacos versus Sporting. Villarreal, Villarreal are going to be at home to Real Sociedad. So an all Spanish tie there. Benfica to Milan. We are going to have one of either Feyenoord, Nice or Roma. 
Roma now at home to Nice. So we've got Feyenoord away from home first leg. That is a very, very winnable tie there. Uh, great, great draw for us, really, to be fair. Great, great draw. Let's see where that sits into the uh, schedule and when will we be back next. So the schedule looks like this. So we've got Everton and Brighton, then we've got Feyenoord, and then we've got Palace, and then we've got the, uh, the, the second leg after that as well. Yeah, we'll be back for Feyenoord and Palace next time round. Carry on our Europa League uh, journey and see if we can continue our good form in the Premier League. But that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave it a like. Leave it that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content going forward. And until next time when we're going to play Feyenoord and Palace, I'll see you soon.